We are given a quadratic equation, that is 2x squared minus 5x plus 8 is equal to 0. And for this quadratic equation, it has two roots, alpha and beta. So let's try to deduce the sum of alpha and beta and the product of alpha and beta. So the sum of roots, sum of the two roots, alpha and beta, so it is going to be alpha plus beta, can be deduced by working on the coefficients of the quadratic equation, and that will be minus of minus 5 over 2. This is equal to 5 over 2. And we can also work on the product of the two roots. The product of the two roots, which are alpha and beta, it will be alpha times beta, and this is 8 over 2. So this divided by this, it is equal to 4. And we're going to make use of the values for alpha plus beta and alpha times beta to deduce for us the new quadratic equation. For this new quadratic equation, new quadratic equation, for this new quadratic equation, it has another set of roots. They are related to alpha and beta, but one of them is alpha over beta. The other one is going to be beta over alpha. So if I were to now work on the sum of the new roots of the new quadratic equation, it is going to be alpha over beta plus beta over alpha. These are the two new roots. So if I were to combine this into one single fraction, it is going to be alpha over alpha, beta over beta, so this will become alpha square over alpha beta, and this will become beta square over alpha beta, creating the same denominator, helps us to combine this together to become alpha plus alpha square plus beta square divided by alpha beta. And for alpha square plus beta square, we can make use of the quadratic expansion of alpha plus beta square. Because alpha plus beta square, let's see what it is. Alpha plus beta square, this is equal to alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square, which means that we have this additional term here, which we don't want to find in alpha square plus beta square. We just want this and we want this. So we're going to take this and we're going to minus off this. So alpha square plus beta square is going to be alpha plus beta square minus away 2 alpha beta. So it's going to be this minus away 2 alpha beta and this is going to be divided by alpha beta. This is extremely good because we have the values for alpha plus beta and alpha times beta from the previous part. So for alpha plus beta, this is 5 over 2 square minus 2 times of alpha times beta, this is 4. And this is going to be divided by alpha times beta which is 4. So the sum of the new roots is minus 7 over 16. And we can then work on the product of the new roots. The product of this new set of roots is going to be, when I multiply the two roots together, alpha over beta multiplied by beta over alpha, which is just simply equal to 1. So this will help me to derive the new equation, the new quadratic equation. So for this new quadratic equation, it is going to look like x squared minus away the sum of its root. So minus this x plus the product of roots, this is equal to 0. We can multiply by 16 throughout this equation, which will give us a 16x squared plus 7x plus 16. This is equal to 0.